Okay, uh, motor installation is complete. Uh, a couple notes to make things easier on anybody that might be installing it. Um, this lets the gear slide up and down. You actually have to tighten this to secure it in place with an Allen wrench. Very simple, but I made sure this was centered on the tape and then I tightened this. Um, works real well. Three screws. You have to drill the holes. Like I said, I mounted it on the metal bracket right next to the bay so the cable wouldn't be too bad. Um, one thing I would recommend, just for simplicity, is that you plug, plug the power adapter in first before you mount it. And I don't even know if you can see it in this, but it, it plugs in back here. I don't know if I can see it. Where's my in there? Ah, there it is. It plugs in in the back of the motor. So I ended up taking the motor off. Pretty simple. I unscrewed the three screws. Took the motor off to get that plug in behind there. It's just really hard to do. It's, it's good because once you get it in there, it's out of the way. Very good. But before you install the motor uh, on the brackets, plug it in. It's uh, much easier, trust me. Everything goes real good. I don't have it hooked up to the computer yet, but it, it's all plugged in. And it works real well. And, you know, it goes both ways. One thing I will point out, uh, here it is right here. This is what I'm calling my home point. This little device here is just a little magnetic strip that tapes on right underneath the I put it underneath there because that seemed to work okay I haven't tested it yet but that's what they recommend that they recommend you put that on the south part of your dome with the shutter facing north so uh, they they recommend you keep the shutter north uh, which makes sense it's easier to a better starting position so they, you just put this it doesn't matter where you put this Basically, when you're done for the day and your program says return the dome to the home position, it's going to go to this position, which uh, will stop it with that little magnetic sensor right there. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but they say in the northern hemisphere, put this on the south. I haven't tested it yet. So that may mean they want the dome facing, the shutter opening facing south, which uh, kind of makes sense, but... I'm not sure um, how that works in tune with this. You may have to say, I want this to be the home place in the program, and then it just measures how far away after the sweep. I don't know exactly yet, but the next step is going to be the fun step. First, I'm going to put the shelf in. Then I'm going to hook the computer up using a sync. sync yeah, I can't talk because I've been doing this for so doggone long. Uh, Synchronizer Generator Pro, Sync Generator Pro, thank you, <laughs> uh, to control everything. I did have the ASI Air Pro. Um, I can't use that because, because it doesn't control the dome. So it's not going to do me any good to use the ASI Air Pro uh, with all my ZWO cameras because I'd still have to come out here and twist the dome to keep it pointing in the right direction, where if I use um, sync, sync Generator Pro, I think that's what it's called. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I just downloaded it. I haven't played with it too much yet. Um, that'll control the telescope, the cameras, and the, the dome. Um, that'll be my next test. I'm going to... I got some cleaning up to do. I don't want these metal fibers in here when I bring my telescope and stuff in. So i got to clean this up quite a bit in here. I'll probably, like I said, put the shelf in. I don't know if I'm going to get to the carpet tonight. What time is it? Eh, maybe 2 o'clock. I'm going to bring the telescope down, get everything set up, everything working with the computer, because I want to shoot the Heart Nebula tonight. It's going to be a clear night, and I hate to waste a clear night. Um, if everything goes as planned... I should be okay. <laughs> I hope everything goes as planned, but we'll find out. Uh, hopefully I have this up and running tonight and doing the heart nebula. 
Uh, bottom line is the motor installation, not too difficult. I just marked the bottom hole here uh, with a screwdriver, really. I just, I just put it where I thought it needed to be, up and down and side to side. And I just took a Phillips head screwdriver and scratched a notch into the, uh, the bracket down here, drilled that hole, screwed this one in place, set the motor up where I wanted it, left to right, and then drilled the other two holes and screwed these in. These are really good screws. They did a real good job with these screws. They screw in really tight. Um, the motor has a little play, which is good. You know, if it hits a high spot on the, on the rollers or something, this seems to jump around. I do have to lubricate these. I want to make sure this is sliding as good as possible. One thing I did notice, and I'm not going to do that anymore. I, with the motor hooked up, you really can't spin the dome by hand. Uh, the, the gear motor pops every once in a while, and I don't want to start... You know, it, it slides a little bit. I may have to... There is a bracket, and this is a, another hit. Next on, good job. Your instructions, not good. Uh, there's a bracket here. It's supposed to set the tension, but it doesn't tell you how to do it. It just says, use this bracket to adjust the tension. Well, okay. There's nothing to bind it against. There's nothing to screw this against. I can't put it against the wheel. The wheel won't spin. I can't put it against there. That won't spin. So I'm kind of at a loss as to what they're talking about. Maybe if I push this... It's hard to do this and show it. If you put this on here, maybe you can loosen this bottom part and it'll push the bracket back. But it doesn't make any sense. Uh, it says, use the bracket to adjust the tension. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't say where to put the bracket, how to set the bracket, where to screw the bracket into, and exactly how it works. And, you know, I'm... I think I'm considered a pretty, well, actually I am, I'm, I, I'm considered a, vandy, a very handy person. And when I tell you the instructions are hard to figure out, you'll just have to take my word for it because I'm really good at figuring things out. And there's a couple things in the instructions in here that had me scratching my head. And that's one of them, that bracket. Um, I may have to go online, but it's tight and it's, it's you know, there's it's not going anywhere it's really good setup if it starts to slip which it's not um it's it's on there real tight i mean it seems actually if you look at the gear mesh it's actually pretty good not too loose not too tight and i, I would want this gear pushing against the tape a little bit the two-sided tape i'd rather have it do that than be set back and be kind of torquing the tape a little bit more than pushing against it but otherwise i spun it all the way around Made it no problem. Everything looks good. All right. Um, like I said, the next video, I'll probably try and do the auto setup on Sync, Sync Generator Pro and uh, see how that works. I uh, may record that. That may be end up being a long one. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I'll be back in a minute or two.